Hey, who's Slayers up there? It's DTM Shadow Slayer and DTM Saber here. How's it going? Yo. And today we are going to be analyzing the Kingdom Hearts 3 final battle trailer. And This is true. Oh my <laughs> god. What a trailer that was. That was intense. I, I, I still, even a few days later, have so many emotions going around inside me from this. And honestly, I think this was even better than the TGS trailer. I don't know about you, but that's what I thought. Alright, so, from what we can see here, uh, have you got a copy of the trailer up right now? Did I send you that? I didn't send you that, did I? Uh, I, I? I'm not looking at it. I'm playing video games, Ryan. I told you this. <laughs> oh, such a bad analysis. An analysis. Um, analysis. My god. I've been you, watching the trailer for a few days. I kind of got it memorized. Nice, like, nice Axel. quote. Nice quote. Very nice. Anyway, uh, the trailer starts off with Old Man Wrinkles here, firing up a purple lightning bolt into the sky, and... I don't know, like, I, I'm looking at the area around him, and to me, it looks like there are multiple copies of his no-name Keyblade. I don't know whether you oh. saw that as well. I but, didn't see that. But from what I can see, okay, here we are, here's a closer up, if I just get close captures of it. Yeah, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the no-name Keyblade surrounding him. Now, mm, it's freaky. What the hell? <laughs> How, I mean, to, I don't even know what this means. Could he have gotten some older past versions of himself that have that Keyblade to be present? Probably. I don't know. He's, it, got, he's, he's done that bef type of thing before. Yeah, but not with the no-name Keyblade, I don't think. And then we have a shot of the what looks like the moon from Kingdom Hearts 2, if you remember the heart-shaped moon, which was yellow in a world that never was. Actually, this yeah. time he's being engulfed by darkness. And, oh, I did actually notice that in the trailer itself. Uh, we've got Xehanort there actually flying in front of it as well. So whether he's finally gotten his hands on Kingdom Hearts, which has been his plan for God knows how long. I mean, I don't even know how old Xehanort is. He's in his 80s. Wasn't it confirmed he's in his 80s or something? Yeah, he's supposed to be in his 80s. So, I, d I mean, what could this mean? I mean, we then... Where is it? Next scene was Sora looking up at it in despair and worry right here. Well, wouldn't you be worried? I, I, I'm not worried. I like purple. Purple is a cool color. And... <laughs> right. And then we get a shot of what looks like how Aqua became a Xehanort vessel. Because on this scene here, she has her blue hair, but she's slowly being engulfed by darkness. It's, it's okay, baby. I'll save you. I'll save you, my waifu. <laughs> I don't think she's been norted, though, unlike con contrary to everyone's belief. I don't think she's been norted. I think she's just being consumed by darkness because she's in the realm of darkness for, like, an extended period of time. We have, and in my background here, it's we're in the freaking realm of borkness now with my dog's borking, so I'll, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be right back in just, like, a couple of moments when I get them I damn shall. canines to shut the fuck up! <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to your viewers All while, right, I could while, while you do that. Hey guys. Doggos! How's it going? Not the dog. Ryan, not the Ryan, to ball. Ryan's talking to Stop doggos it. and I'm playing Splatoon 2 while Stop thinking about guys. the fact that... While thinking about the fact that Sora freaking cried in that, like, that trailer. That, that, that's sad. That made me sad. That probably made you guys sad. Like, I don't know about you, but like... I can't handle a sad Sora. Uh, I saw I saw this um, one commercial, which was like a good recap, and it's just like Sora was freaking crying that too. It was in Japanese. I don't know if you guys saw that. I can't remember what the translation was, but it got me fucked up. Oh, sh <laughs> I should stop cursing. I don't want to make Ryan edit more. But yeah, um. You know, I want to draw that. I don't know about you, but I'm going to draw that. I'm Sora crying because Sora being sad makes me sad. And so I got I got to I got to be sad. And, All right. And I got the cane. Nice to shut the hell up. Cool. All right. And we are back. Did you keep the views entertained? I hope so. I did. <laughs> well, we were starting off by uh, uh, debating whether Aqua is naughty or not. I mean, she had silver hair. Aubrey. She had silver hair. She was like, could just 
She was like Xehanort Et. She very much could just be being consumed by darkness. I guess we'll find out in 41 days. Because she's like, because I think she's just being consumed by darkness because of like how before she had like the shadow things going up her arm. Yeah, and that's shit. True. that is true. I like it's like, th- you can be norted. You, you can be norted and that won't happen to you. That is true. Like bloody Marluxia and Luxord and Luxine and all them fools. They're not silver hair. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, I've also thought she might be turning into one of those Darklings from Union Cross. Uh. I guess we'll find out in January. They had, there was a Darkling in, like, one of the... In, like, the in like, co- cover in, arts. In the cover, yeah. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. So who knows? Nemours no, no, is fucking be, with our minds right now. <laughs> it could be Stretz... Uh, how do you pronounce her name? Stretzula? Strelitzia? Stralizer? It could be her. I don't know. Whatever her name is. It's got those like Final Fantasy names going on right there. And yeah. in the next scene, we've got all these rock pillars that look like they're in the shape of a crown, but with all the 13 Seekers of Darkness on there. You don't get a okay. very good view of them, unfortunately. Okay, I want, I want to make a little theory about that little rock area. Okay. I think that's the area where like the Keyblade War is going to be held, because it has the same terrain going on. It does. It really does. Oh, man. And it's just like, yo, Keyblade War. It's just, oh man. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be in that area. You're probably right. But you can't see any Keyblades. That's the only thing. Yeah, because you're high up, looking up at the pillars. That the Keyblades true. are on the ground. And in Birth by Sleep, Xehanort was able to do that with the Earth. He was able to make massive rock pillars as well. So that, yeah. you're probably right. That is probably in the Keyblade graveyard. It's got that rocky terrain. It's got everything going on there. And you can see, I think that's Vex in there, I can see. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> playing, playing and, video games. There's, 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 there's so much going on. And then we get a closer up of it as the Disney logo goes through. And on the far right there, I can see oh, I can see Luxord there from Pirates of the Caribbean. The dude that sealed Mickey away, which we'll get into a minute. Then obviously that's Demix there, he's playing his sitar, rocking out. And I think... I th- okay, that one that's on the left of Demix, that is either... Larkseen or Shion right there. It's got that sort of Where? feminine body body shape to her. Uh, as the Disney logo pops up in the trailer, we've got uh, Demix, Luxord, and a female organization member there. That's either Larkseen or Shion. I, she's quite tall, so I want to say Larkseen. Most likely Larkseen. In the, in the, like, with the, the hood up? Uh, no, the, ho- the hood is down. The hood is down. I think I, oh, I can't okay. tell. It's it's quite far out. It oh, look like oh, we're still at that part you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, I know. I know where you're at now. And then on the I, other side of the pillar. Okay, if 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 the viewers could not tell, I am not currently looking at the video. <laughs> I know. Such such a great such a great analy- analyzing partner. Thank you so much, Robbie. Yeah, I don't I don't YouTube analyzing stuff. She, she basically, I barely she, basically got she don't give YouTube. no shit. <laughs> I don't analyze shit. <laughs> This is true, but it's not my. You, you're, not you're, my you're here for the discussion. You're here for. I'm the here because I, I want to discuss it because I like Kingdom Heart. Everyone likes Kingdom Hearts. So <laughs> the, the 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 noises. Sorry, my God. I died. And then <laughs> I died on, and it scared me. And then as the camera pans across here, always be a We step have Marluxia on that pillar, and then mm. there's a, a shorter pillar that doesn't look like it's fully up out the ground yet, and then we've got Vex and over here on the other side so we get to have a good look at some of the secrets of darkness here and then we have that lovely square enix logo so i'm, I'm actually wondering where this might actually be even part of the intro might it might be part of the intro uh probably not if i had to take a guess yeah because well, well, why would out. they why would they, they've already shown like a good part of the Ooh. opening scene and in the cinema trailer do you remember when we saw those fireballs coming down and destroying the hercules world on mount olympus well, yeah. right here, it turns out they're not actually fireballs. They are those fire heartless from 0.2. Those ones that we had to fight as Aqua. Oh, jeez. So we are actually having heartless raining down from the sky like freaking meteors coming up, coming at us like a thousand degrees Fahrenheit or whatever. And you know, that makes sense. And then we have yes. them toppling over the Hercules tab, which we saw in the cinema trailer. And then we go straight okay. to the Monsters Inc. world. Uh, if, if they're coming raining down, do you think like it's one of those things of the Keyblade War has already started, 
like you know that sort of thing. I don't think so because this is heartless and this is in the uh, Mount Olympus world. This is... No, because because the 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 Kingdom Hearts, the Moon thing. No, this isn't in the same world as the Moon. And oh. plus, Sora was in the Kingdom Hearts too. I guess I'm. I guess I'm just confused because, like, it starts off in Olympus. Yeah, that's what we're seeing right now. This is in Sora in his Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit. These fireballs, which are actually heartless, raining down from the sky and destroying the whole place. I just want to know when in the game you get to switch to that that sweet, sweet Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit. I was thinking it's going to be some point after uh, the Olympus world. It's not going to be before the next world because in all the other worlds we see him in his Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit. The only one where we see him in his Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit is at Master Yensid's Tower and in Mount Olympus. Okay, I exited my game. I'm going to pull it up now. About damn time. <laughs> uh, shut up. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you a link. Uh, I'm at 31 no, you don't need in. to. I literally have the video saved onto a playlist I have on YouTube. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm at 31 seconds in. Uh, next, we see... You're at 31 seconds in. That's good to know. Give me a second. It does I help. have a, I have a, I have a Kingdom Hearts playlist on YouTube. Nerd! Oh, shut up. You probably do, too. What? No. Maybe. Okay. So I'm at 35 seconds with beautiful Woody's face. All right. Well, at 31 seconds, we go straight into the Monsters, Inc. trailer, and we see... Mike, Sully, uh, well, Mike running, Sully holding Boo and running, uh, Donald, Goofy, and Sora running away from an explosion, because, you know, cool guys run away from explosions. Cool guys don't look at explosions, is what the phrase goes, Ryan. Uh, I'm sorry, okay. And uh, Everyone everyone runs away from explosions, you know why? Because they don't want to die. This is probably true. And then we have more explosions, and Mike on his own here, as the factory is blowing up. So whether the first explosion separated them or not, I don't know... Should whether we'll have to go and hunt for Mike, that could be part of the game. And yeah. then, we go to this Toy Story world, which is in some sort of Realm of Darkness-esque looking crap, and Buzz just gets freaking bodied! He just disintegrates into darkness! No, 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 it he was already floating before. Yeah, he's floating. So he was like... I, I, I don't know what's happening! What have you done to Buzz? It was, it was one of those things of, it looks like... He got captured. Maybe. And then used as bait for the heroes. Maybe, and then suddenly because Woody Woody looks shocked. He does. He looks he, he looks worried. I mean, his friend is dying here. And then and then and then after that after after that Toy Story. Yep. And then it disintegrates thing. like all the darkness just suddenly vanishes. And then we're up to Rapunzel. Like all of these scenes are look, they look, they're showing all the sort of final scenes of Disney. So this is really a final battle trailer. It really it does stick to the title. We see Rapunzel yeah. shoving Mother Gothel out the way there. Which which, may I say, goes perfectly with the actual movie. Like, oh my goodness, their attention to detail in this ch final battle trailer, the, it goes perfectly with the movies they go against. They, just, they, just, look, it's they so... look better. They look better than the Disney movies. They really oh, do. Yeah. The attention to detail and the, the, the hair, that slick, blonde hair right there. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I, I went back like 10 seconds. Give me a minute. Um, and then from there we get to actually yeah, see so nice. uh, Flynn, Sora, Donald, and Goofy riding. Um, I can't remember Maximus. the horse's name. Maximus. His Maximus. Name is Maximus. We get to see them riding on Maximus right there. It, his name is Maximus, not a uh, Maximus. Okay, I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. And, and then I'm we sorry. Get... I'm a fan of Disney movies. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> And then we're back into the uh, Winnie the Pooh world, the Hundred Acre Wood. Hundred Acre Wood. Which... I want to say, can I just point out something? Um, me being an art student, I really appreciate this. The lighting that they have in this world makes it feel like a book, which is pretty it really much does. the where, shell shading. Which is which is where which is where it takes place. The Hundred Acre Wood. It takes place um, in a book. In, in a book and they got Humpty they got Humpty in this I, world I love Humpty I don't even know who that is I never saw that movie he's the he's the purple elephant I, I grew up with the OG characters because he's a he's that's a heffalump that's how old I am because he's a heffalump wait I thought they were like the bad guys or some, something uh, that's, they're made out to be the bad guys I'm gonna have to watch they're this movie they're not really I'm gonna have to watch this movie yeah it's so fun because his name is uh, no not Humpty his name is Lumpy and Lumpy. he's friends with his, he's friend. He's best friends with Rue. Ah, I see. And the cell shading is so crisp as well. 
Oh, it's so pretty to look at. I like how they introduce you into the Hundred Acre Wood. It's a bouncing camera motion, and it's like, oh, it's know, obviously it's Tigger. So you don't it's need so to know good. it before. Like, you don't need to know it's Tigger before you. You know it's Tigger before it even shows that it is Tigger. Exactly. It, exactly. It's bouncing. And it's, I just love the Hundred Acre Wood so much. I know we're going off track here, but it's such a nice break from all the darkness and the action and all of that. It's just, darkness. It's into darkness. Yeah, it's it's into such dark. a it's such a good break. I love. That's why I really like the Hundred Acre Wood. I'm so happy they brought it, it back. It had a bunch of happy things, and then the next scene after that, it they're talking with Scrooge, Scrooge McDuck. Scrooge McDuck. He's in Twilight Town. Also, you n no, they're not in Twilight Town. Yeah, this is Twilight Town. Because Remy the Rat's there. Remy's uh, kitchen is in Twilight Town. Is it really? It is. Why the fuck is Remy's kitchen in Twilight Town? I don't know, but I'm so happy they've upgraded thought... Twilight Town. Now we can actually thought... find somewhere to eat. <laughs> Does that mean Twilight Town is in France? It must do. Oh my God. Because, because Remy lives in France. He lives um, in Paris, France. Unless, unless it's sort of like a, a shelf company, you know, where, they, where they've, they've extended their business now. <laughs> I don't know, and he like went overseas or some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And we got Scrooge but, McDuck. I'm, I'm hoping that we have a little DuckTales segment, and I wonder if he'll be voiced by David Tennant now. Hmm. Mm, probably not. They'll probably keep the same voice actor they've had for Scrooge for In, a few years. Yeah, probably. Probably will. Probably keep. David Tennant tends to get busy, and then this little, this little. I just want to appreciate this little arm motion that happens when Remy like goes down. I know. Arm. The, the little, attention like, to detail. And in the background, as he's giving Remy a high five, NPCs, we have more life in Twilight Town now. There's more life. And then immediately after that, I feel like I'm hopping back into the movie Frozen. Like, it looks so I'm, good! I'm not in a video game anymore. I am in the world of Frozen. Oh my god. And if you look here very closely, she's actually singing the lyric, Go, from the song. So, and Nomura has already said they are going to have the song, yeah, Let It Go. Yeah, which means we'll probably get the we'll probably get the full um, scene full song yep. if I had to take a wild guess. But with Sora like, in the background or something going on there as well. Sora sings "Let It Go" as well. I mean, Hades Ross Osmond actually has a decent singing voice, and the camera pans as well, and then. And then, and then freaking Anna and her heart getting frozen. I know. I know. <laughs> and what I'm really looking forward to in this world is. Fucking bitch slapping Lark scene again. <laughs> I want to cut off one of Davy Jones's tentacles. I know, we're, we're getting into that bit. Next, here we are. We've got good old Squidward versus Captain Jack Sparrow. This is, this is when SpongeBob was pissed off Squidward way too much. He goes ape shit like this. Yeah, and it looks like the, the uh, Davy Jones is obviously mad. He's usually mad. It looks like. Um, oh, Pirates of the Caribbean movie is that. It does. It's like the second one, isn't it? Uh, no, Dead Man's finished. Chest, I think it's the third one. I mean, I, I've only watched no, Chris the, the Black Pearl. No, that's the second one. I'm look, I am looking at the movies right now, because I all have right. all the spots. Uh, what's I the had third the, all the one? At World's End. Yeah, that's the one with the mermaids. Nemo said this takes place between, uh, it takes place in both movies, towards the end of uh, World of, um... Oh my Dead god, Man's we're Chest. gonna get, we're gonna get man-eating mermaids in Kingdom Hearts? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I it's it's them, not gonna be the I Neverland mean. mermaids no more, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I need those flesh-eating mermaids. And then after this, we go into the world of Big Hero Six, and mm, Sora just he, slaps, he, slaps he evil slaps. Baymax with the giant stick of doom right there. And then the good Baymax freaking flings Sora onto his back. I know this movement right here. And then, and then, and then evil Baymax. Looks like we have a we have a stitch assist. All right, before that still. though, just before that, it's still in the world of Big Hero Six and San Francisco here. We got some. Harry Potter versus Voldemort stuff going on as they spiral down towards the earth. Right there. And then we go into Stitch. That transition, I just like, want to say, my god. It looks like that's still in the Big Hero 6 world. It is. It is still in the Big Hero 6 world. You can see the road markings and everything right there. Yeah, because of the buildings and the headpiece that Sora's wearing. And the way Stitch is glowing right here, I love this summon right now. I like how all this, like, a good majority of the summons have, like, this glowing effect to them. They do. And if you look also, at... Also, look what, at that Keyblade. Look at that Keyblade. That Star sword. Keyblade. I think that's... Isn't it a PlayStation exclusive Keyblade? Might be. And uh, here we are. The, what's, what's the name of this? This summon here is called Plasma something. It's Plasma Encounter. And then the attack is called Plasma Surge. And then you have the jump option as well. 
and I love, I love the little summon logo right there. How beautiful that looks with Stitch on it, with all of his forearms. <laughs> I'm excited for the next scene. And the next scene right here, we got that plasma stuff. And Rico is playable. <laughs> And Sorry, he looks beautiful. Look at his angry face down in that bottom right does. corner. He does. He looks edgy he as He looks hell. so... He's so mad. Zoom in on that face. Zoom in on that <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll try and remember to do that editing. And Aw, uh, you, don't, you don't have to. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to. It's, it's so beautiful. Uh, and that's... Beautiful. And he's like fighting a column of like... Uh, that's the, the Devil's the Tide shadow. from 0 0.2. Or Demon's Tide. <sighs> I can't remember what it's called. You know, your thing is like remembering all the different moves in like Heartless in Kingdom Hearts. I know the actual characters in the Disney movies. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. Okay, this is the bit that I wanted With to pause With our powers on. combined. Right. Now, one thing I did notice is Riku doesn't actually have a limit gauge. And he doesn't no, have the link option on his commands either. So I think we're going to have the basic Kingdom Hearts 1 slap, slap attacks and magic right here. And this, I think... Maybe this maybe this is when you first start playing as Riku. I don't know. I don't know. Because if we notice, he's got his he's got his Braveheart Keyblade, not his Way to Dawn. So this is after he first got bodied by Aqua, when it was him and Mickey. And there's no Mickey there. I just noticed there's no Mickey above Riku either. So he's on his own. Huh. Yeah. Maybe he's... He, he it looks like he is in the Realm of Darkness. Oh, absolutely. He's at the... Um, what's it called? The... Ah, I forgot the name. Where him and Sora were at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, so, someone let me know in the comment section. I can't remember. It's that beach. It's that beach. Uh, it's a very pretty beach. It is. It's, someone let me know in the comment section. I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, but yeah. Wait, that, that, that is where he's at. Dark margin. Boom. That was it. Dark margin. Right. And I got a feeling, like, this is a little theory I've had here. First, we go in there as Riku and Mickey, face Aqua, get bodied. Riku goes away, gets Braveheart somehow, don't know how, gets a new, cool new haircut because he's like, cause he's edgy like that, uh, wants to be Noctis cosplaying, you know, and then he goes back again, gets bodied the second time, then Sora goes in there to go and save him. That's what I think is going to happen, because we get to see Sora fighting um, Aqua, Aqua as well. So I think that's what's going to happen, I think it's going to be Riku and Mickey get bodied, Riku gets bodied, Sora goes and saves them, and please save Aqua you know, as well, please you save know, my baby. Sora and Riku would... Go to the ends of the earth for each other. I mean, like they would, and we're gonna get to that a little bit later. I mean, on. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, I mean, I hate to be a shipper, but like, it's hard to not think that they're dating. Get the fuck out of it! <laughs> <laughs> like, like, they're they're just so close. It's just like, they're, they're just they're just friends, right? They're just really good friends, they're like brothers, they're like brothers. Okay, there. Fine. Now I've made fine. it weird for you fine. if they're dating. Fine. Fine. Ha! I will I will say it I will say this. Hmm? Kyrie and Sora are just friends. They they act more like two siblings. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I know what you like and dislike. Anyway, uh, we get to see Riku use a command here, which is uh Pretty it's early very on. Pretty. Dark Faraga, which he has been using before, but it looks like he's been upgraded this time. Because mm, that, that devil's tiger's bodied. Oh my god, that damage. That damage right it there. Looks, it looks nice. And then right here, back in the world of Frozen, we have a Ratatouille Keyblade, which looks like a corkscrew with two wine bottles on the side. The Eiffel Tower. It's, oh my it's god. It's a freaking frying pan. It does. It, I don't know whether you play player known as Battleground, but oh my god. And the command is Frying Pan as well. That Oh wow, that's awesome. And we got this little Ratatouille logo going on there. Loving yeah, it. Yeah, I like I like that the little Ratatouille logo is in on the camera. And it's just like, it looks nice. And, and then, then you freaking... And then it freaking turns large and you get to... And, yeet, that, uh, and as it is <laughs> turning, heartless. as it is turning, what we do, we, we have here, is... I uh, don't know whether you play Final Fantasy XV, Aubrey, but right here... Uh, we, no, I have not played any Final uh, Fantasy games, I will admit that. Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> uh, one of Noctis' abilities towards the end of it is... Spoiler alert if you haven't played it, by the way. Is he gets all of the swords from his uh, ancestors to surround him. Which is similar to what this cutlery is doing right here in this nice little attack and the way it turns into frying pan like the different the white wine and the red wine get mixed into a food and then it becomes freaking giant as it catches fire flinging food everywhere and then boom smack that heartless in the face of the frying pan and a huge explosion 
And there's still food in the frying pan. There like is after you as smack well. the heartless. So we you know, get a nice meal afterwards, a bit like Ignis in Final Fantasy XV. And one thing that happens to the logo, as it explodes, turns red with flames around it, which I really like there. And it's like, we've got it's like eat the fire, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a Donald Meteor uh, a focus uh, bar there as well, which is pretty cool to see. So we get to use that. So it seems like Donald's uh, sort of like duck flare is going to be a situation command, which is going to be pretty awesome. And then these little cupcake heartless. They've been in okay, all the worlds. I want to point out something about this, about these the scene with these little cupcake heartless. Yep. One, the cupcake cartlets look cute, but if you look down in the bottom right, Sora is up by himself. Huh! I did not notice that. Yeah, because you're too inter like because everyone's focused on the cuteness. That is true. Oh, I know why as well. Look, there's a timer. There's points. This is a mini game. It's not actual fight. Huh. Oh yeah, that would make sense why there's a bunch of heartless like stacked on top of each other. And it's apparently called Mad Teacup, so could this be part of the teacup ride? And it's got uh, a, fo a, a attack there called Cup Slide as well. Hmm. Yeah. And there seem to be in every world as well. Like here, we have them in the Pirates of the Caribbean world. Again, it's a mini game. And Sora's on his own. I'm I'm out I'm out of <laughs> the video. So. Uh, oof. Sorry, okay. give me a minute. That's I'm, absolutely I'm fine. Lit. I'm letting my mom in. <laughs> okay. So we got, we got, it, it could be, uh, very well be a mini game, but it's just something else to discover. Sora is by himself. It is. But again, like in the Pirates of the Caribbean world, he's on his own as well. And this is a mini game again. Yeah. And this actually Here, looks like it's me... the first part of Port Royal where we were in Kingdom Hearts 2 with cannons looking out onto the water. It looks and then real in the cute. And in the background like there, we have the look, the uh, village of Port Royal as well. Anyway, sorry, I interrupted you there. You were saying? It, it's uh, we're not even halfway done with the video. Yet. I know, I know. It's such a long trailer. I, I this trailer is so good. And you get, it's the you final get, battle trailer. They're is. trying to put in enough information. What? <laughs> My phone! It fell. You're all right. My phone fell. Oof. And in the background there, you can actually see all of Port Royal as well. So it looks like this is going to be a fully open world area where we won't have little transitions or anything, unless that's like sort of 2D background area. I guess we'll find out later on. That would be interesting to find out because you can go underwater. You can, you can. In that world, so it's it's interesting to think about. And then from the Pirates of the Caribbean world, we go into the Big Hero 6 world again, San Francisco, another mini game with Cupcake Cutler. So they seem to be everywhere. It seems to be a recurring event. And you can actually see like different billboards in the background. Uh, you can see loads of little things in the background, cars below. And uh, Sora just gets freaking launched across the city. And then we transition straight into a dancing mini game here. In, in Rapunzel. It looks. Uh... I said Rapunzel, it's just like, oh, eh, same thing. Um, this could just be a minigame segment that they're I advertising. Think I think it is. And we actually I'll, get to see I'll Flynn just... there that lets Sora go and dance with one of the other girls that are surrounding the area. <laughs> Sora doing, like, gymnastics. Oh, heck yeah, with the barrel, which we'll see in a minute. But the controls here is spin, step, and clap. So I don't know whether they're going to have little logos next to them, whether we have to select them uh, with each movement, maybe something will come up on screen. I'm not entirely sure, but I just want to say this bit goes perfect with the music as well. And then on the barrel here, look at that boy spin! My god! And then we're Do back in the hand, world of Mount... A handstand spin. Exactly, it was a handstand spin. And then we're back into the world of Mount Olympus here, and this Heartless looks absolutely amazing. This horse chariot Heartless right here. Oh, I thought this was still the world of Tangle, but I see it is like... Is it Mount the Let's have a look here. Uh, what outfit is he in? He is in his Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit. No, we've got Rapunzel there and Flynn as well. So you're right, this is in the world of Tangled. My mistake. And what Keyblade is that? That's the yeah. Frozen Keyblade that he's got there as well. And we actually have okay, so that, four that, party that, members. Wait, maybe... It could just be a ruse. So does that mean, like... Hmm? Frozen is before the Tangled world? Or... I don't know whether it's just for a test that they were doing on the computers. Uh, at they Scrooge. could have just had the wrong keyblade at the wrong time. Maybe, and we it's actually see that, here that, that heartless, that horse chariot heartless. It looks beautiful. It reminds me of those freaking name. tanks from the Mulan world, Land of Dragons, in Kingdom Hearts Two. Yeah. And we actually see there's a situation command here. 
which Sora has called Rage Form, which sounds very unlike Sora to have a form like that. You know, after all these years, I'm surprised Sora hasn't had Rage. I mean, he had Anti-Form. Could it be somehow linked with that? Maybe. I guess we'll Sora's just Sora, Sora's just done with all, everyone's shit. <laughs> He's like, I'm just done. I'm just done. I've, I've, I've beaten these guys so many times now. I, I, I beat freaking Handsome two years ago. Xemnas last year. For my Mark and Master, I had to go up against Young Zane or Zigbar's back! The amount of times I had to retry my fight against Zigbar, he's back now. I'm done. I quit. I just keep coming back. I don't even know who this Marluxia person is trying to get in my head, saying I know them from before. Who's this young oh, yeah. bitch? I feel like she pissed me off in the past. I don't know who she is. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot. He doesn't remember any of that. It's gonna be interesting, man. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, yeah. And then the horse chariot thing here actually bodies Sora. And if I just go back a little bit here, it looks like the invisible walls are back. We saw a little blue barrier there. There it is. And then we get to go into an underwater segment with an underwater boss battle. Yeah, it transitions right into Sora diving in. And uh, the shortcuts here. We got Sea Fire, I thought that would just come out of steam. Sea Blizzard, Sea Thunder, and Cura. So we're glad to see that the cures are back. But Sea Thunder? I didn't even know that was a thing. Look at that fish heart. I mean, it, that is pretty cool. It looks like some weird Pokemon, actually. It does kind of look like a Pokemon. <laughs> anyway, we see that uh, even though Donald and Goofy are on a party, they don't seem to be anywhere. Oh, no, I see Donald at the top there. I don't see Goofy, though. Huh. And that sea blizzard looked absolutely amazing. Came out like claws there. That was pretty cool. And then we get yeah, to have a look cool. at the overhead display in the mech suits here. We've got cannons, blaster, punch, booster, danger dash, and eject. So we've got, we got quite a wide range of attacks that we can do here. And we actually... It looks like, think, like a mini game. Okay, I have... Uh, no, like this was done in another trailer before. You could go into these little toys in the toy, uh, in the toy story world. Oh yeah, we can, but did, did it have the but point system on there? Not... This one's got the score system and the time. Oh yeah, it could be a mini game since he pointed that out. I didn't think about that. Yeah, it's got a chain here as well. There's so much to do. And, or maybe, uh, we, I don't yeah, know. Look, we get 5,000 points for shooting them with like a little minigun thing, and then we get to just uh, smack him in the face, and there seems to be a lot of other mechs behind it as well. And there's a little uh, exclamation point up there as well. Is that where we've got to try and get to? I, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it's sort I of know. like... I guess a, we'll find out. Maybe it's sort of like a Turf Wars type thing. And then we're back it's here... Splatoon! <laughs> maybe, <laughs> yes! Splatoon. And, but then we get to... Oh, we get to fight David Jones! David Jones is a boss. This is going to be awesome. We get to fight Octoface. And I just want to point out, his health bar! That's like Endgame Xemnas from Kingdom Hearts 2! Yeah, he's got a thick, uh, thick boy health, health bar. I bet, like... He takes damage real easy, though. I mean, we, we get to actually see the damage that he takes right here. It's it's not actually that much all at once. And then we're back into the world of monsters. Look at Zink. that keyblade, though. Like, but ooh, no, ooh. go back. Like, because that the keyblade on um, the uh, Pirates yes, of the Caribbean keyblade. It looks, it looks so real nice. good. It looks so good. And so has got a nice little glow about him here as well when he's in the air. Yeah. And uh, then we go back into Monster Inc. world. What the heck is this <laughs> thing? Sora's also, like, he's got that orange tint to him. Yes, could this be like a drive form that we're in at the moment? And then, ah, uh, that's this new, that's no, 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 new Duck the, Flare. It's flare, flare, flare. It's Flare Force. No, that's Situation Command. There's still a timer on it. We haven't used it yet. We're using the Agile Claws at the moment. I think this might be oh, okay. uh, Donald's uh, new Duck Flare, Flare Force. I think it might be the new name for his Duck Flare. And then, like, there's also these weird, shadowy, goopy, heartless ringing from the sky. They I, look sad. I don't know. They look a bit, like, unversed to me. They look sad, though. They do. They look like a pumpkin. Sad pumpkin. Uh, but, but, yeah. Like, oh, my God. I think this is an unversed. There's no heartless logo on there. I think this might be an unversed, but there's no unversed logo either. Hmm. Could be. Hmm. Heartless logo could be on the back. Maybe. I'm, I look forward to fighting this thing. Uh, it didn't have the biggest mm. health by Nord. And then we get to run up the tower with all these orbs showing up, which I can imagine will knock us back. And then, oh my god, this heartless looks so good at the top of the tower. Just look at this thing. Yeah. Like, what are your that thoughts could be on this? Like, that could be, like, towards the end of the Tangled World. I think so. Because, like, his final battle trailer could be showing all the boss battles, do you think? Oh, that, that, that would make sense. It would. And then look at that health bar as well. 
It is a thick health bar. That is boss ba battle material. I like that the heartless looks like a tree. I do as well. It actually looks a bit like a chameleon as well. It's got a bit of a tail when so knocks it back there. And you're using yeah. the tangled oh, wood keyblade as well. Both, both, both the tree and a chameleon would make sense yeah, because of Rapunzel's of... Pascal. Yeah, um, the, the friend chameleon. Pascal, and then like also the trees that hide the tower. Exactly. It makes sense. And I feel like this might be a midway boss because of the health bar's not too big, but it's not too small either. Yeah. And then. We've got the massive, like, 1,000 Heartless, 1,000 Nobodies, 1,000 Unversed fight here. And you know, like, I bet that's not hard to do. It's just annoying. Yeah, and this giant Heartless... Like, if I was Sora... If I was, like, Sora, I'd be, like, <laughs> so annoyed. It's just, like, really... I'd be like, again, again, I fought these fools in Radiant Garden, I gotta do this again! <laughs> There's this, um, big... Thing in the middle. What is that? Uh, I think that's like the massive Minotaur Heartless that we saw in the Olympus world. Could be. It yeah. looks real mechanical. It does. And uh, if you notice, there isn't actually a number that we have to fight this time. It's just got a long yellow bar of enemies that we have to beat. Maybe that's a timer of how many we have, how long we have to like fight it out for. I don't know. And I don't know. Or how many is left. There's an ability there for, I'm guessing, Sora, Donald, and Goofy on the situation command called Trinity Guard. Whether that will be where Goofy goes in front of them with the shield and the shield gets big or something, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And he's using a Mirage Staff Keyblade from, again, the world Tangled, and he's got a finisher. It's finish so sparkly it is. and There's pretty. So sorry. I, I'm sorry. I get distracted by pretty things. And My artist brain is just like, it's so nice. <laughs> And then we have the finisher move here, which is uh, with the Mirage Staff, where it sends out a massive laser beam around them, and then so we have a conversation a here. Yeah, face a blank. And then we have a conversation here between Lee and Kyrie. You and me, in the ring! And the eating a sea salt ice cream. already? And what Kyrie says here in her Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit, which looks very crisp, by the way, is, don't hold back, Lee, promise. I don't know whether you played Kingdom Hearts 358, did you, Orbs? I did, actually. Do you remember when Shion ran away and Lee went, uh, Axel went to get her back and he, she said, don't hold back, back Axel, or go all out Axel, or don't hold back, or promise. Yeah. Shion said the exact same thing, and that triggered something here for You're Lee, because he looked back, at Kyrie and oh, see Shion. See Shion! I cried! I, I cried when I saw this. Oh my oh, god. Poor Lee. He's gone through some shit. He like, has. that dude probably has some PST. PTSD, uh, yeah. PTSD. You need to go and Sorry. see a psychiatrist, my dude. I, I, I need to go see some grammar lessons. <laughs> and then we're back in the Toy Story world in that realm of darkness area. We're also, we're also back to the don't think twice. We are. Um, we are. I've heard enough of this now. <laughs> I haven't. I love both. They are still good. They are still good. And... As he goes after young Xehanort here, you actually see the shadow of his version of um, the no-name Keyblade from the time... You can see the little time... Uh, the egg timer clock thing on the back there, on the chain. So he's got his old Keyblade back again. I swear to God, if he does that time stop where he goes back in time again and we have to fight him like that again, I'm going to flip. I'm going to throw my control out the window. <laughs> that thing oh, annoys gonna, me so much. <laughs> they're going to do that now just to annoy me. Time you. stop. Um, and the thing he says, find the hearts joined to yours. Yes. It's just like, you know, there's like a bunch of hearts tied find to Sora. Heart. Like, I know, I know. He's like, but which ones do I have to find? I've got like 300 inside me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. And there's that other thing he said, uh, Aubrey, where he said, I naughted your ultimate waifu. Come at me, bro. <laughs> that's not canon. <laughs> that is non-canon, though. Anyway, uh... That is beautiful, but that's not canon. And I love the way he, fi he fades into shadow here as well. I would... And then and the next scene who is Who is Sykes talking to? Who is this? This obviously is not Shion, because, you know, looks too tall and bulky to be Shion. We hate to think we invited you back into our ranks only for you to fail to deliver our final vessel. So it's someone that was originally, like, someone that was already been with them. Holy so crap, it's Roxas. That's what I was thinking. What if it's Roxas? We haven't seen him back at all our... in the trailer. This trailer, Roxas appears nowhere. Right. Only for you to oh fail my to god. I swear vessel. to god, if you've noticed Shion and Roxas! <laughs> I don't think Shion is Norded. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see in a moment. We'll see in a moment. 
I'm I don't here. think she unsnorted. I just think. Join. I think it's just Roxas there because since it's a bulky dude. Back in the Monsters Inc. And world. Freaking Vanitas. Vanitas and Ventus. <laughs> Vanitas is just an anxious boy. It's just like, dude, we know you don't want this. We know it's just you being influenced by Xehanort. We, we, you, we know, know that deep down you're just a you're just a troubled teenager. <laughs> With <my laughs> Vinny, pretty much Loki. And then we have Pete and Maleficent here. Be... Pete saying, "And um, where are we supposed to be looking?" I think he's referring to the black box again. Probably. And then, oh my and god. Maleficent, Maleficent's just like, yeah, we're gonna brush that off. Yeah. Keyblade War is here. Yeah, Let's just. A Keyblade War is upon us, and oh my god, she looks so fine. Look but at her. Is, her animation us. is so well done. It is. Oh my Have god. You... And then we got Chirithi here. You Haven't you already learned, learned how to restore someone's, how to restore someone's heart? heart? Nope! Failed that test! Failed that test in Dream Drop Distance. Yeah, he doesn't know. Which I think is how he'll actually respond in mm. the game. He's gonna say, I don't know. No. And then this conversation between Isa and Lee, or Sykes and Lee right here, and Lee's got two? Two ice creams? Greedy bastard. Um, he could give one to he could give one to Sayek. Time. It could be a flashback to when it was Axel instead of Lee. brought them to, maybe? No, because no, you can see Axel doesn't have the little teardrop. Teardrop uh, tattoos under his eyes. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna just say Twilight Town is looking fine right here. Oh my god, it looks so good. Kyrie's right. Wait, wait, wait. I'm at I'm at uh, two minutes eighteen seconds. Okay, I'm we there now. And there we got Mickey saying Kyrie's right. We're all in this together. You know, a little prep talk before the Keyblade War. And created it. Ansem the Wise. Hello. <laughs> Like, We're all in this together. And, uh, Anson Rice here, his new voice actor, by the way, doing a very good job. Very good job. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all those children you sacrificed. Yeah. Look, they're dead inside. Now, do you think that maybe Anson the Wise will become a Nort? Hmm. Be what? Do you think Anson the Wise might become a Xehanort before the end? Um, like, I mean, he's I already in his Organization 13 coat that he had in Blank Points at the end of Birth by Sleep. I don't know. I, f I really the... cannot say. Yep. And then, so we've got a conversation between Ansem and Ansem here. <laughs> Children Ansem and Ansem. The name of your research. Yep. It sounds it sound yeah. like that freaking... And then... I, don't know if any, I don't know if anyone else is going to get this, but it sounds like that freaking attorney thing, Morgan and Morgan. Oh my god. People. Oh my god. You, you had to ruin it! <laughs> and someone and some. And then we've got... For the children. Uh, at 2 minutes 30, if we just go back slightly All to this point here, uh, we actually get to see Ansem out of the Organization 13 coat and in his main outfit before Riku clashes with Repliku here. And Repliku. Repliku. Still got the nautid eyes there. So he's, he's, he's not back just yet. But ah. come, come real on. Riku's probably just be like, dude, snap out of it. You yeah. don't want this, man. Yeah. I mean, come on, Riku can't lose to his past self. He's leveled up far too much from that. <laughs> I got a car. And then, oh my god, this bit hit hard. Second time that I watched this trailer, where we go back to uh, San Francisco with young Xehanort saying, there's no saving you. And we know what's going to happen now. There's a high price to there's pay. There's a high price yeah. to pay. We're wielding such, such power, power foolishly. Foreshadowing so to what? high heavens right there's there. No and then so it's like, so what? I don't care. Oh, you're going to care. Foresha the foreshadowing of him, of those two t talking. There's no saving you. From what? <laughs> there's no saving Sora. <laughs> from what? From losing all of his friends. And then we got the demon tied here again. Going after Sora, he cuts out in half. Riku takes a slash. Kairi right there. Let's just go back to Kairi and no see her outfit from the back. We haven't seen from the back yet. And here it is. That I love her outfit here. I like the little ears on the top of her hood right there. And we get a nice look at her key blade a little bit right there. Uh, but the next bit. Oh my god. Aubrey, what's with the next bit for you? What do you think about the next bit? Oh, it, which part? Uh, after what, we see what, Kairi what slash shadow uh, 247. With Re Replicu I'm at here, okay, Re Replicu no, here, and as he, you know, like Kami Hami Haas right here. Oh my God, the shadow that comes out of him! I don't know whether it's just me or does that look like a shadow Xehanort to you? I 
don't know. I don't know whether he's trying to, you know, banish the darkness from his heart here, or whether this is an attack that he does. It kind of look. It kind of does look like a shadow zone where I'm like turning my head and looking at my phone while I do this. All right. <laughs> I just. I, I don't know. I feel like. Maybe he's trying to banish Xehanort's heart from within him at this point. And meanwhile, Sora has this oh shit face. He's like, ah, fuck. <laughs> and then, oh, poor Goofy eyes. here. Poor Goofy uh, takes he's a cover of his shield. Himself. He's like, ah, oh, shit! <laughs> it's an umbrella. And then we can actually see Lee's Keyblade there in the top corner right next to Kyrie. And Kyrie's Keyblade in 3D looks so good! Like, oh my god. And we got Mickey in the background there. We got Donald there as well. We got the entire gang there. And all the Keyblades, like, stuck in the mountain in the background there. And we still got the demons tide spinning. And then here, this is the bit now where Lee goes, Ooh. Who are you? Are, are you? That's Shion! He's like, That's he's like, 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 he is defeated. He is defeated. He is sad. That mm. is a more feminine figure. It could be And not Shion. only that, when we did see Rox's reveal, he had Oblivion and Oathkeeper. And the way Lee is sort of foreshadowing that Shion by going, who are you? He would know if that was Roxas. Because he remembers Roxas. He doesn't remember Shion. He would... He would remember... I thought he remembered Shion. No, because Shion, remember, her, her memory went from everyone when she went oh, back to Sora. Oh, yeah. Shit, yeah. I That's remember. what's so sad about her story. Like, <sighs> who are Shion's you? Shion's not Shion's, just, Shion's, Shion's, not Shion's gonna be like... Bitch, I'm gonna make you remember. She owns a puppet. Literally, she can be anything they want her to be. I mean, I swear to God, if I have to kill Shion again, I'm not gonna go after freaking old man wrinkles. I'm going after Namura himself. I can't gonna... do it again! <laughs> Ryan, 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 Ryan. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up even more. It turns out you gotta go against Shion as Lee. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I quit this analysis, is over. <laughs> Dude, we're not even done yet. We got a minute. Oh my god, I'm crying. I'm actually we crying. We got a full minute. We got a full minute. We got like a few seconds of right. leading torture. And at 2.53 here, we get to see Syx in berserk mode. Oh, by the way, I love how his mace thing is lit up. And then we have Zemnis' final attack. Like, in Kingdom Hearts 2, we deflected half of those things. Lee's taking the full frontal force of this. He's dead. He's gonna die. Well, he doesn't have his keyblade. I know. From, from the scene, from like, the looks of it. Like he can't summon it or something. And then the look of Xemnas and and Sykes there. Like, Xemnas, he just doesn't give a fuck. Sykes, Sykes is in Sykes berserk is mode. He's in berserk mode right there. Sykes is glowing uh, like, as if he's not fully in control of himself. Well, yeah, that's berserk mode. That's the mode that he had, the form he had in Kingdom Hearts 2 when we were fighting him. I don't remember that. <laughs> like, like, I can't honest remember to God, you, you can't even deflect his shit. And then Sora with the chains. Now this is why I think Aqua is noted. In 0.2, Aqua used uh, Ericus's chains ability, which she picked up from him, to save um, to save Terra from Terra Nort from being fully taken this, over. This and looks like it takes place in the Keyblade War it, area again. It does. But don't because... you remember, like uh, at the end of 0.2, when she used those chains on the Demon's Tide to save Mickey and Riku? Yeah, I remember that. That's why I think Aqua's naughted. Because it's that chains. It's those chains. So yeah, we, we see Sora get taken here. We see Ventus. Now, is Ventus awake there? Or is Ventus asleep? No, Ventus looks, as Ventus looks asleep. His head looks kind of lopsided. It does, but as, he gets, but as he gets lifted up, his head lifts up. That could just because he was lifted up, Ryan. It could be. It could be. I don't know. I don't know. He's probably asleep. Do not asleep. know how physics work. <laughs> what, what, what are physics? <laughs> <laughs> and then we see Mickey going into one of Luxord's cards. And Mickey lost that fight. And we, and we see Mickey's new Keyblade there. So he's got that back from Aqua since the, since the Realm of Darkness on the oh. Dark Margin. When Aqua picked it up. So he's got that back. You know, I thought I was done with Infinity War. <laughs> Everyone got Thanos! <laughs> you know, I thought I was done with Infinity War. Smash Bros came out, and I'm like, okay, this is probably the last of it, and then this trailer came out, and it's just like, all my favorite video game characters are dying. I know, and then this next bit here, someone's using Hyper Beam right here. Someone's Looking going Kamehameha. Could be Donald. Because, like, there's a Hyper Beam. He's glowing and there, it, and he's pointing at the sky. He's glowing. Oh, look how close Kyrie is. Look, Sora's going in for the cheeky butt grab right there. 
<laughs> no, that's not no, at all. No, what no, it is. I, I know, Kyrie I know, being, I know. It's Kyrie being scared, and yeah. Sora's natural. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. protect everybody. Yeah, and we got mood. like like Donald's there with the one point of the guy. Sort of glowing there, so I think that might have been his attack. We got Goofy there, down and out. Mickey He's without down on his and then this, Donald, I, I know you never healed me in one and two, but I've been told you're fixed. I've been told you're fixed. How you can't literally die that, now? Literally that hyper beam so bad that he probably fainted. Yeah, he, he can't, he hasn't died. But there, look, Lee's down for the count there. Fainted, either fainted or dead. Kyrie's protecting him. Gets swept away by the demon's tide. Look, Mickey's it's crying cool. there. No, he's not. He's covering his oh, face because yeah. there's a bunch of okay. heartless coming. Uh, Donald's still down us. This is after that. And then Kyrie gets taken. Oh my god. Look at the size of that demon's tide. That's huge. Yo, well, look know, at key, that. Key, 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 Keyblade war, you know that. I know, but the demon tide was never that big before. That's... Oh my god. I didn't notice... And then... Oh my god, this bit. This bit killed me the most. And then Riku protecting... This bit here, like, just look at those harnesses swept away there. I know you don't. And the scream, the scream. Haley Joel Osmond. Sora, you don't believe that is what Riku is thinking. Cause like, um, cause I know, I know what he's referencing to because there was this short thirty-second commercial that was aired in yeah, Japan I that saw I saw that a video where for. Sora said the only reason I could fight was because of everyone by my side. How can I go on now? How can I do it by myself? Yeah, like something like myself? that. Yeah. And oh that's my... probably a this is probably Riku responding to that. And we're we're all like we're like, what the hell has happened? But it doesn't end! It keeps going! You know. Like we, we have like twelve versions of Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here. I'm like, pained in agony. <laughs> like what are what these things? Sora, Sora crying. And then what's I like how I like how in your reaction you called them Power Rangers, and here you're <laughs> calling them Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah, Shredders right here. Anyway, uh, once a seat of they, power they, for they, all they, Keyblade wielders. They've got very sharpness to them. They have, and they're all wearing heels. Loving the stilettos there, guys. You're looking fabulous! <laughs> they're all Xehanorts now. Yeah, I didn't know that Xehanort rocked those heels, though. My God. All Keyblade wielders. You know, in his younger years. Thought it looked cool, and yeah. his older self just did not want to let go. Back in the go. 1920s or something. <laughs> no, the 1820s. Yeah. That's too old. And oh my god, this is Cable Town. This is yeah. Cable Town right here. You can see the cables finally no, after four not, years. It's it's not Cable Town. It's it's Scala at Kelm. That that yeah, it's, it's obviously. Kylum, yeah, it translates as "Stairway to Heaven" or roughly translates from Latin "Stairway to Heaven." But, you know, that's a good song, Stairway to Heaven. Sorry, I got distracted. But maybe, he did say that Cable Town was just a concept. That could have been a working name for it. Because, I mean, it looks exactly the same in the bit that we've seen in a minute. And my other selves True. Can be one. So he wants to merge with his other selves because he says, here, myself and my other selves can become one. In, in Scala and Kylo. Kylo. And to be fair, I'm, think... start, I'm starting to like his voice actor. I'm starting to like it. You think there's going to be like a big giant Xehanort? That we got a battle. I mean, maybe, possibly. If they're combining into one, you think they'll like? Maybe. Come into bigger size. Go battle like a twenty-foot Xehanort. My God, that would be like a fast fight all over again. I hope not. I hope not. I think. I hope it's something more flashy <laughs> than that. More flashy. Get those move set. You think like? You think he'll get all the move, like all the different powers from everyone that from like, he's turned like into Xehanort? From like Young Xehanort and some Zem. That's what I was thinking earlier on today. But I just want to say that Skylad Kylum, it looks beautiful. It really does. I want, I want to explore every inch of this place. You know, it's almost ironic. It's really bright, really nice looking. There's like barely any clouds in the sky. Could this be like... in Kingdom Hearts? Could this be inside Kingdom Hearts? Uh, who knows? I don't know. Anyway, that is the end of the trailer right there. We just see If this is if this is inside Kingdom Hearts, that would be weird. Also, like do people live here? I don't know. If like, everyone there's saw lots maybe of buildings. Oh, I don't even see. Yeah, but no, there's once a seat of power for all keyblade wielders. So once, so maybe people used to live there. So maybe maybe yeah. if, you, if you remember when all the worlds were one 
People used to live there, and then Kingdom Hearts was consumed by darkness. So maybe this is what it used to look like before King it was like consumed, you know? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So everybody just dead here. I was thinking though, know, all of the gardens are like maybe like like Temp died, and as we sort of like make our way to the top or something to fight Xehanort, maybe they're all sort of dotted around and we have to fight all his previous selves. I, I don't know. <sighs> it's a scavenger hunt of battles. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want that. I don't like scavenger hunts. I get that already in other games I play. Breath of the Wild, for example. Oh, uh, no. That's less scavenger hunt and more, like, 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 sca like, that, that's open world. Scavenger hunt is like what they did in Bending Link Machine. Never played it. But uh, anyway. if anyone that has played it in that is watching this, if anyone has played it, you know exactly what I'm talking <laughs> about. Like that was painful. But anyway, what was it chapter three? The so layers. This is where we're going to end our analysis because that's the end of the trailer. Let us know what you guys thought down in the script, down in the description below, no, down in the comment section down below. And yeah, just go to Ryan's YouTube channel, hack into it, let him know in the description. <laughs> and if there's anything we missed out, hold on a sec. <laughs> Ryan! <laughs> Calling Ryan in the background. Hello again. Alright, so yeah, that's my dinner. Okay, resume into the outro. Oh. So if you guys have enjoyed at any moment, please just leave like, subscribe. If you've missed anything or you want to add anything to this analysis, let us know in the comment section down below. Go and check out DTM Sabe. Link to her channel is also in the description down below. Please don't see my channel. I haven't uploaded anything in like a year and a half. Go and take a look I, at I... it. She once uploaded a video of her eating spaghetti. That was certainly interesting. Don't. That was such a... <laughs> I was in middle school. Please don't go over there. <laughs> go check it out. Do it. Do I it. thought it was funny. Like and comment. Do it. Go and like and comment on her channel. And especially don't on that video. In fact, I'll link that specific video. Pin it to the top of the comment section everything. You guys can't miss it. It's brilliant. Please. Great day YouTube just, videos right there. And we'll see you all in the next chapter. I, just, I want people to wait until I have an animation up on my channel. Fine, fine. I'll leave it till then. I'll leave it till then. Aww. It's at the top of the comment section. Go check it out. Bye! Oh, no. <laughs>